I used to do impressions when I started. Uh, about, like, it was about a little over 20 years ago. I, I, was, I basically did all the impressions everybody was doing back then. Like, yo, 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 yo. All right, everybody here in Utah, everybody get down, get down. <laughs> uh, hello, Tom. Uh, I'm not gonna hurt you, Wendy. And... Well then, you wanna get Capone? Well, here's how you get him. <laughs> he pulls a knife, you pull a gun. Now, I don't, I don't do impressions in my act anymore. I really, I don't, uh, I don't. I, I just, I, I really don't. I, I watch, I, I, the impressions I do now are for my kids. I, all the, you know, Nickelodeon. Oh, I, I'm a killer. I, Dora. Oh, I, I do a great Dora the Explorer, I'm telling you. I, I do impressions around the house. I try to make my, my kids laugh. I try to make my wife laugh with the impressions. Like, my wife's a very good cook. She really is. But every once in a while, the recipe won't turn out. You know, the way she, you know, the way she wanted it to, and she'll, she'll, she'll ask me what I think, and I'll do my De Niro face. I'm like, no, it's good. And if she, if she goes shopping and she comes back and she has a ton of bags, I'll, I'll do my Ray Liotta impression, you know? Like, that was all of our money, Karen! <laughs> a very good Matthew McConaughey. I'm just letting you know. I tried to do it one night, though, because I was trying to get my wife in the mood. And, uh, you no, know, I got her in the mood to turn me down. I, uh, I, said, I said, hey, all right, all right, all right. And she said, no, no, no. And, well, the irony is every morning my wife likes to make a to-do list and, well, I'm never on it. Okay. Uh, As edgy as I get. I, uh, I do have to go, and I appreciate you guys um, uh, having me. I'm, I'm, this is such a beautiful town and such a beautiful venue. I was, every comedy club was like this, to be honest with you. And I always do try to end my show with something positive. I, I'd like to leave some advice. Uh, I would, but uh, I'd like to be a motivational speaker at some point. I, I, I can't be serious that long, so if I tried that, I'd be like, anything's possible. It's not for all of you. you know? <laughs> But I'd, like to, I'd love to give advice, but I don't know about you, but you, you, with, advice is tricky, because no matter how good advice sounds, it's never quite that simple. You know, because, for example, people always say, oh, money can't buy happiness. Well, first of all, they're wrong. <laughs> it can, trust me. Whoever did say that never went into a dollar store to shoplift. <laughs> and people say, oh, you got to maintain a good balance in your life. And I agree with that, but I think your bank account is a little more important. <laughs> place to keep a good balance. And if you don't believe me, next time a credit card company calls you, just tell them you're in a good place and see if they'll accept it. <laughs> and the piece of advice I get a lot and I hear a lot because I'm getting older is, you know, seize the day and live for the moment. And I agree with that too. Just, you know, make sure you can afford it. <laughs> I, a couple years ago, I was torn between wanting to live for the moment and knowing that financially it wasn't a good move. <laughs> Yeah, a good friend of mine lived in Phoenix, and he kept saying, dude, you gotta come out, man. I go, I can't afford to, I don't have the money. He goes, come on, seize the day. I said, dude, I can't even seize the airfare. <laughs> he goes, well, just go on Priceline, man, get a good flight. So I went on Priceline, and apparently I checked the same flight so many times they called me. And he said, look, we don't know who you're trying to visit in Phoenix, but boy, give him a call, tell him you can't make it. <laughs> The one thing I will tell you in all, in all sincerity is uh, be optimistic in life. And what I mean is uh, uh, just try to stay positive and so forth. And because, you know, the truth is there's no, there's no downside to that because I think every one of us have had bad days. And I know every one of us has had people disappoint us we never thought would disappoint us. And uh, the good news is it's going to happen again. <laughs> but if you're optimistic, if you're optimistic, at least you'll be in a good mood right up until it happens. <laughs> And I think the best thing you can do for anybody in your life is just be in a good mood. So don't assume the worst in people and don't expect the worst in life. That's all I have to say. Thank you very much and I appreciate it. Local man robs Wendy's with alligator. We're the alligator boys now. And the mind that they sent them to the bank should be going, Mom, Mom. <laughs>